Ames. David, it's a cancer called DIPG. It has no cure, but that could be changing soon. We just need more. It's killing kids, young adults every day. Funding for pediatric cancer research, particularly DIPG. DIPG stands for Diffuse Intrinsic Pontine Glioma. It's the type of cancer that took the life of Donna Smeagol's son Ryan last March. He was 21 years old. Their minds are great, but it attacks all of your faculties, you know, and so it's it's a horrific death to watch. DIPG is the cancer that also killed Chad Carr, grandson of the former University of Michigan football coach Lloyd Carr. It's an aggressive disease that forms within the brain stem. The cancer has no cure and is most commonly found in young kids. Many pass away within a year of being diagnosed. But now there's a new ray of hope to battle this deadly condition. Doctors at the University of Michigan have secured a federal grant of $429,000 money that will be used for an experimental gene therapy on mice. If successful, the procedure would enable the patient's immune system to destroy the cancer cells. I'm very excited about what these two researchers down at U of M are, are doing. It sounds very promising. In fact, U of M doctors have gone on record believing that a cure could be just a few years away. Smeagol hopes that's the case. She doesn't want another parent to endure the pain she will feel every day for the rest of her life. Walk down the cancer halls at Henry Ford, U of M, it breaks your heart. These are our children. We have got to do better. They deserve better. We have to do better. Now, U of M doctors will receive that federal grant in April. Reporting in the Continuous News Center, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.